place of distribution 129 works registered by the Veterans Association of Kansas City to celebrate the 20th founding anniversary of St. Louis-run Kansas City. In eight months, Bank for Social Policy, Kansas Branch, and Kansas City Youth Union have issued loans of over 38 billion Vietnam dollars to nearly 1,000 young people. Hello, and it's good to see you back here in this edition of Continuous and Top News today. 129 works, including many works to upgrade bridges and roads, install lights and plant trees, have been registered by the Veterans Association of Kansas City to celebrate the 20th founding anniversary of the century run Kansas City. Since the beginning of the year, cadres and members of Kansas City Veterans Association have carried out many projects contributing to ensuring traffic safety, such as mobilizing the construction and upgrading of nearly 2,000 meters of roads, dredging over 1,200 meters of canals, planting 31,926 trees of all kinds, including 4,950 cork trees against riverbank landslides. In eight months of this year, the Bank for Social Policy Kanto Branch, in coordination with Kanto City Youth Union, have issued loans of 38 billion 600 million Vietnam dong to nearly 1,000 young people. The debit balance reached 272 billion 500 million Vietnam dong, with 6,730 young people still in debt, accounting for over 7% of total debit balance in trust to associations and unions. Referential credit capital mainly invests in agricultural production, fisheries, small trading services, and so on. From then, helping poor people and policy classified people expand production and business, students cover their study expenses, thousands of workers have stable jobs, particularly helping youth union members have the capital to start a business, nurture the spirit of entrepreneurship, and replicate many effective business models. The delegation of the Department of Labor and Values and Social Affairs of Kansas City visited and learned about the Edor Long and Planting Model of Dong Tam Agricultural Cooperative in Thuy Khan A Hamlet, the Mong Khamen, Thái Lai Suburban District. Here, the delegation listened to representatives of Dong Tam Agricultural Cooperative introducing an overview of the model and conveying experience planting techniques to care accelerate the process of processing fruit to achieve productivity, economic efficiency, and a consumption market of indoor labor of the cooperative. Up to now, the Mong Kambian has the model of developing clean agricultural products produced in the organic direction with an area of 215 hectares. Edon Longan of Dom Tom Cooperative Products is evaluated by the OCA Products Evaluation and Classification Council of Kansas City, creating products with four star standards. OCA product development and rural tourism development are interrelated, and OCA products are resources to build rural tourism products. According to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development, after five years of implementing the program, one commune, one product, or OCA program for short, up to now the country has 10,000. 322 OCA products with three stars or more of 5,361 owners and 51 five-star products. Deputy Chief of the Central New Rural Coordination Office, Phương Đình An said that OCA product development and rural tourism development have an organic relationship. In addition, OCA products also contribute to conveying stories and cultural values about rural tourism. Therefore, it's necessary to plan regions, locations, and display centers, introduce products, and connect trade to promote the purchase and sale of regional OCA products, contributing to more strongly bringing OCA products to the market. With many trade connection programs having been implemented, up to now, Kansas City has six FTA projects with Japanese investment with a total registered capital of more than 1,350,000 US dollars, ranking first out of 22 countries and territories with local direct investment. Kansas City has built a land area for Japanese investors in Hung Fu Wan Industrial Park, Gairang Urban District with an area of about 30 hectares and many preferential commitments exclusively for Japanese investors, established the Japan Deskante 
organized investment and trade promotion seminar for Japanese partners. Thereby, the city functional sectors have timely informed about Gangtze's advantages, potentials, as well as investment attraction orientation to promote cooperation and trade connection with Japanese investors in many fields. According to forecast by the Southern Regional Hydrometeorological Observatory, by the end of this year, some tributaries in the Mekong Delta will experience salt water intrusion equivalent to the historic salinity drought of the dry season in 2015-2016. From now until early October, a small flood in the flow of Mekong River is possible. From the end of October this year to May 2024, the water level of the Mekong River will gradually decrease. The total amount of water flowing in the dry season of 2023-2024 from the upper Mekong River to the lower ridges and the Mekong Delta is 20 to 25 percent short of the average level seen in many years, while the salt water intrusion situation in the Mekong Delta depends on water flowing from upstream. Therefore, during this dry season, salt water intrusion in the Mekong Delta will continue at a deeper and more intense level. Ladies and gentlemen, in addition to visiting the cage fish farming models, the Bay Bong Fish Rub in Sheng's Island, Bên Thuy District, Canter City, is also a venue to introduce 3D models of 15 typical Hau River fish species so that visitors will be able to learn about rare fish species. Mr. Lee Van Bong, the owner, also wished to build a space similar to a little ecological area where tourists can interact with nature. There's nothing better than enjoying the fresh air in the middle of the whole river in the morning like this. We are present at Mr. Lee Van Bong's fish wrap at Sheng Island, Bentry District and the city. There are up to 30 catch and a wide variety of fish here. Mr. Bai Bong has researched ways to breed and maintain fish species that are on the verge of extinction. As a result, when tourists visit Sheng Island, this location is one of the most intriguing attractions. What is everyone's job like in the morning when there are no tourist groups coming to visit? Let's take a look right now. Feed the fish. Fix the bumpy roads. Steam the fish cakes. These are daily tasks prepared from early morning on the Baybon fish raft. At around 6 o'clock I start working. I feed the fish, then clean up the tables and chairs. At 6 30, I prepare the fish case for tourists. In the past, the fish wraps only had bridges wide enough for me to go across. Later on, when I switched to tourism, I upgraded to a larger bridge to make it easier and safer for visitors. Visitors will not only be able to see the fish under the raft, but they will also be able to learn about each variety of fish found in the Mekong River region through precise and meticulous information and models. There are also beautiful miniatures like flower pots, a coconut leaf canopy, and a boat constructed of plastic bottles. It not only makes an impression on tourists, but it also helps to raise environmental awareness, ensuring that Sheng Islet remains an appealing location for visitors. Previously, when growing fish, we solely focus on growing and conserving fish. Now we're combining it with tourism, so we have to make a good impression on tourists. Thus, this is a truly green and ecological model. Anyone who goes through here will never forget the breathtaking scenery. This is a very beautiful and natural environment. Coming here, I was really excited and hoped to have the opportunity to return to Ganto.
เดบไดจิตวอลฟอร์กัสท้องสำหรับดับดิสติชันอฟแกนทินิวเซฟยูอนสวัสดีกันอินเดสเบอร์เทนบลิสวิสเอจาวเว็บไซต์แกนเทอร์ที่วิดัตวีเอ็นและขอบคุณที่ติดตามกันและเจอกันใหม่